Thank you for meeting us. Uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, being talking with you. We are very huge fans of Epica and your work. And I would like to start to, uh, talking about Colombia. What do you remember of your previous shows here in Colombia? It's always a lot of fun. I mean, we've done many shows. Uh, last time we played at the huge uh, park, Rockal Park Festival. Rockal Park, correct. Rockal Park. That was uh, right. that was huge, yeah. And uh, I think that was for us the first festival to play in uh, Colombia. Before that, we only did club shows. And uh, yeah, it's always fun. So we're happy to come back uh, in uh, February, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, February. Yeah. Well, uh, back in 2018, you made a, a very nice album called uh, uh, Epica versus Attack on Titan. It was very surprising for us. Are you that fan of anime and why that why that specific anime? Are you guys uh, I, saw that? I'm not really uh, a fan of uh, anime or I, I don't know it, basically. I do like, uh, I just say Studio Gimli, so I do like a little bit the drawing style. But I, I was very much uneducated when it came to anime. And we got the, the request to do the cover of the soundtrack and also uh, yeah rewrite the lyrics. And Epica is not that big in Japan, so we also thought it would be an amazing thing to do for us to gain um, a bigger, create a bigger fan community in Japan. And I really like the songs. It's very different from what we normally do. So it was definitely a challenge and a lot of fun. I love the songs. I wish we could uh, play them live, actually. Good, okay. That's nice. Uh, let's talk about the Alchemy Project because it was released the last year and mm -hmm. the album has seven epic songs every one every single one has a collaboration how was the process to select these bands and artists well we uh isa came up with the idea to do this when the pandemic hit and we we just finished uh, omega record for omega and so okay we have to delay the release we cannot tour what do we do to keep busy all of our friends and colleagues in the, in the music industry or probably in studio as well so then he had the idea to write songs with our uh, colleagues and friends in the metal scene and we waited for a couple of months i think we were busy with other things and then we picked up on the idea contacted our uh, friends and uh, colleagues people we wanted to work with and that's basically how it went and i wanted to write the song with charlotte so i did the siren song with her and yeah, Mark wrote a song with Flash God Apocalypse and some colleagues of his band in Mayan. And Rob did uh, the final lullaby and also the minor with Asim and Jürgen on the lullaby. So it's it's definitely a, a kind of a new approach for us to write songs, but also a nice way to refresh after we did the Omega album. And knowing, okay, we're going to write a new album one day anyway. It's it's nice to see uh, to, to work with other artists to feel inspired again and yeah, try out some some new things. And uh, recently, we also played the song "The Minor Life." We have been playing "Final Lullaby Life" a lot, but uh, since uh, Atsim was replacing Mark for a couple of shows, we could play "The Minor Life" as well. And uh, yeah, those are also some of my favorite songs of the EP. And it was, uh, again, a lot of fun and a huge success. And uh, it gave us some inspiration as well for now the Epica album number nine that we are writing right now. Okay. Cool. Uh, given uh, in that line, uh, how was the experience of having Charlotte Wiesels and Mirko on the Sirens video? How was it? It was amazing. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And normally I'm always surrounded by my guys that don't like to do videos. And then you have two other girls who like to play dress up, play with wigs and dresses. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Two, two and, three uh, look at gorgeous in that video. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we um, had to throw the wigs away at the end of the shoot because we did uh, some scenes in the water. And then the wigs, I took them back home with me. I opened the bag and it smelled like wet dog really bad. <laughs> so I had to, I had to, I had to bury the wigs. 
somewhere because uh, I knew we couldn't use them anymore. But it was fun. We sacrificed them for the shoot. Okay, that's fine. Are you talking about? Uh, are you talking? Uh, you are working in a new material for Epica, and that's my last question: is which are the plans for Epica after this tour? Well, we have only a couple of festivals that we play this summer because we are going to record the new album. And at the end of the year, September and in December, we are going to do uh, shows that are called the Symphonic Synergy, where we're going to play together with choir and orchestra. Uh, two shows in Amsterdam and then we go to Mexico. So those are big projects. And of course, by the end of or the autumn of next year, we will be releasing our first single. And the album is scheduled to be released in 2025. So, okay, okay. that's nice. We know here in Colombia we love your band, we love you guys, we love you too. And uh, we we're very much expecting how can be or what can expect on your next show here in Colombia. Well, I like like always. We have a good time. We do a nice long set, play a lot of Epica classics combined with newer ones from Omega. This is basically now kind of the last uh, shows that we do with the Omega album. And maybe even a surprise because we at the 70,000 tons of metal uh, cruise, we are going to do a Quantum Enigma set because of the anniversary of the album and okay. maybe we can even throw in one or two songs from there the quantum enigma that we don't normally play of course we play on chain utopia a lot but there's going to be some other ones that uh, we might play so it's going to be an interesting evening but as always we'll have a lot of fun and uh, yeah hang out and have good vibes 